Vacation Bible School here at Whittington is very non-traditional. Is that a good word? <laughs> <laughs> so we start several months before and we start working on stage pieces. It takes months and months uh, for us to get our stage ready. That's the first thing I want the kids to see when they come in. If they're wowed when they walk in, they're excited to be here, they're excited to see what it is that we're going to do. It keeps their attention and they'll remember it. Some of the, we've, we've talked about in children's church and they'll say, I remember last year with, you know, and they'll t bring up different themes and things. So I know that it's something that they remember. So we do spend a lot of time on that, but we also do, uh, multi-age, multi-sex groups and vacation Bible school. And that is also a part of mentoring. We use those older kids in that group to mentor those younger kids. So we, ha we let them choose a couple of friends to be with so that not everybody is with people they don't know or with people that aren't in their same grade, but we, we try to keep a little bit of every grade and every sex boy girl in the same group. And then they just rotate to all their different stations. That's our K-6 area. With pre-K, they stay in the kids' kingdom, so they're just back there in that hallway, but there's, they still rotate to their different groups. And then we do all kinds of crazy things. We have recreation, and that's not just your typical kickball game. We usually do something fun like slip and slide kickball, or we do gaga. Um, we also have all kinds of obstacle courses, and we just do, it's something different every year, and the kids look forward to that, and it gives them a little bit of downtime. But one other thing about Vacation Bible School that excites me is that we encourage those intentional conversations. So that crew leader not only takes those kids of those rotations but they have meaningful conversations with that group of kids and they learn to get to know them so by the time the vacation bible school is over and we have that salvation night they know them they they know what things that they like and things they don't like they know where they are with the lord and they um that if they go down front to make a decision those those workers those crew leaders are comfortable going down there and praying with them we prep our crew leaders all week long for that salvation night one of my favorite parts about Vacation Bible School also is a huddle and a prayer. And it's during one of the songs. I pull all of the leaders out, and this happens every single night of Vacation Bible School. And we go in the, in the hallway, and we talk about really quick a rundown of the night. But then we pray together and just thanking the Lord for this opportunity, but also open up hearts and minds so that we're able to reach those kids. Because that's what our ultimate goal is, is to reach those kids and get them to know Jesus. Last year, we had 138 workers. And that it takes that much for Vacation Bible School to run successfully. We need several people in lots of areas, anywhere from security, uh, which takes a lot. We do, we, we're very, um, we lock down doors and don't let any guests and visitors into the building while we have our precious children back here, but also lesson and rec and kitchen. And we also have a nursery for our workers uh, so that they can bring their families. We also have, um, the pre-K area and they take, that's a special kind of worker. So they're taking kids to the bathroom and helping them with all the things that the pre-K need help with. So it takes, it takes 138 workers last year for Vacation Bible School to run successfully.